Hello and welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to talk about is a new firmware update for the 1770 series, which I think you guys will really enjoy. Uh, one of the main things we're going to talk about is templates, the fact that you can create and then load templates in the field after the fact um, is pretty cool. So let's jump into it and I'll show you how it works. So if you don't have the new firmware, you can go to uh, fluke.com and download all the information to get that firmware updated. But the cool thing with the 17 series, series and actually all of the Fluke power quality tools now is you don't have to connect these to the computer anymore to update the firmware. You just use a USB stick uh, that Fluke provides or you can use your own USB stick, download the firmware, plug it in and down, update the firmware. You can also download sessions with the USB stick and we're going to show how to do that now. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to set up a specific logging session so I can save a template. I'll do this in fast forward mode so you don't have to be bored. So you might want to rename your logging session, but once you have your logging session all set up the way you want, you're going to then hit a start log. Even though you don't, if you only want to make a template in the office and then be able to send the template out to the field, if you want to be able to send the template out to the field with um, on, on a USB stick and they just plug it in, um, your technician in the field, and then hit start using this template, th this is how you do it. You're just going to start it for a second, hit stop, and then continue. We're going to save this session. At least this is how I figured out how to do it. And then take the USB stick. We're going to plug it into this port right here. There we go. And it's going to come up with this. And we're going to say we want to copy logging session, not all of it, we'll copy logging session. And I want to do this one. And right here you see template. And then save as template to USB. Blink. Hit that. Now we're good. Now we can go back and we've got it saved. I can pull this out. I could send this or I could copy um, the file onto another USB, send this out to the field to somebody else that has a different uh, 1770 series. Plug it in. They would plug it in to their 1770 series. It's going to come up with this and it's going to say, apply template from USB. Why, yes, I do want to do that. Click that, apply template. And look, we've got it all formatted correctly. And to show you that that actually worked, we'll go back to this. We're going to change this to this one. Say done. Okay. I'm going to unplug this real quick and you see we're in this so if we go back to the home screen and I go into here you can see we are in the three phase Y right now okay now plug this in apply template select the template hit apply template and boom it goes to the template that we had before even on some of the um, oh, I can go back to setup. You can go to like the event trigger. See how I have the event triggers on like weird numbers instead of the default. You can see even those came through correctly at 108 instead of 110 and whatnot. So pretty cool template. Um, let us let me know what you think. If you think this template uh, new feature in the firmware is a pretty cool thing, let me know. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe to be updated on all things Fluke. And when, as Fluke continues to release more firmware updates and more features on the 1770 series, I'll keep you guys posted with little videos like this. Thanks and have a good rest of your week.